welcome to day 31 and the very last day of bed. <laughs> Dad, I'm here with Jacob. The sun is blinding my eyes and I'm trying not to look at it. Where's the freaking parking? We are at the mall yet again Smoke some tea over to here. get something for Jacob. And I don't know what we're planning to do today, but we're going to do stuff. We're going to get what I need from the mall and then we're going to go to Target and get some stuff. And what are we going to do for vlogsings? All the things. All the things. Okay. So we are at the mall, and we just went into Park Sun. Um, have I ever told you about um, how I like feel things and like see things? <laughs> yes. Like I feel things through colors. No. Have I ever told you that? Okay. So um, the way that I process feelings is through colors, and I think it's synesthesia, right? Is what that's called? So it's called synesthesia, I think, and it's like through processing colors, um, and like each emotion has a color, each emotion has like a feeling associated with a color. And so when I go shopping for clothes, it's super easy for me to find stuff, because if I walk in, I can like look at all the colors and be like, I'm not feeling any of these colors, I don't want any of them that's in there. So it's really easy for me to do shopping, because I can like feel the colors and like what I'm looking for. So shopping is super easy for me, so like a lot of times I'll go into like places to go look for clothes. I'll go into look for clothes and I won't find what I want because, or like I'll look for like three seconds and like not get anything because I'm not feeling whatever colors are in there. That's all she's saying. Yep. Well, at least it's pretty cool. And look what else they have. Look what else they got. They got a Justin Bieber. Jacob's sister Jamie has an obsession with him. Oh, I, I have an extra 20. I'll use the extra 20. Jacob has also an obsession with Justin Bieber. I don't, I'm not buying it for me. I'm buying it for He's her. buying it for himself, actually. I'm buying it for her because she will freak out in the best way possible. By the way, we are at Target. In case I forgot to tell you that. P.S. P.S. But she's in the blue dress. It's because it's Cinderella. It's supposed to be white. Yeah. We don't want it to get confused with her wedding dress. <laughs> stupid Cinderella and your pretty, pretty stupid Aurora. Why is it pink? It's pretty pretty princesses wear pink. No, Aurora wears blue. I'm pretty sure people are going to think I'm a fanatic, and this is not all that I speak about at all moments of the day, I promise you. That's a lie. <laughs> it's totally a lie. Jacob is going to present his gift. It's for you. It's for you. Oh, it's for you. Are you ready? Oh, yes! Oh, clearance! Yes! So we went back to the Disney store again today to get some extra stuff. And Jacob got Tiana. And this Tiana is different because unlike the other princesses who have the new sparkly, like, ghetto fabulous dresses. <laughs> Tiana, this is the original model that they had released, and so she's got her hair up, whereas the new Tiana has it down, and then oh, the new Tiana has a big sparkly dress. And also, go ahead. The new Tiana's dress is just sparkly all the way down. Like, it doesn't have the leaf. It doesn't look anything like her real dress in the movie. It's, like, a lot like how Rapunzel's dress is just oddly sparkly, and it doesn't have any patterns or... Mm -hmm or anything and I wasn't gonna buy a Tiana right now I was gonna wait but because she was the only legit Tiana like she this was the last one all the other ones are the new gaudy one I had to get her so <laughs> I regret nothing oops I'm videoing it is closing to the end of the day it's not the most proper grammar. It's closing, it's closing to the end, end of the day. day. Is end of day <laughs> is over. Closing to the end. End is to be ending of the day. We are both on computers. What does that say about us? The end of the year goes out not with a fizz, but with a bang. Mm -hmm. On the laptop. On the laptop. Um, so I said yesterday's vlog, in yesterday's vlog, that I wanted to thank all of you. This is the most awkward angle, isn't it? Is this an awkward angle? I don't know. You're just, I'm gonna have to deal with it if it's an awkward angle when I'm editing. I'll just be like, no, oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, why would you do that? Um, so this has been a very 
long year, I would say. I feel like it was longer than most other years have been in the past. Because I think so much happened this year. For one, I was dating my girlfriend and everything was fine. And I got my Disneyland pass at the, that same time. And like Disneyland has been the medium for so many good and bad times this entire year. I went through counseling for my previous roommate who that was a disaster. I came to terms with my identity and who I am. I met this guy. I had the issues with my parents. And I think things are starting to come around and getting better. And it feels like it's just been a really productive year. And I think last year's resolution was that I was gonna determine to find myself. And I think I successfully did that. At least I, I found the right track to finding myself. I don't know if I found myself yet. And I think, well, I don't know what I'm thinking, but I know that I want to, I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking anything. I know that I want to thank each and every single one of you who has com completely, I don't know why I said completely, but has completely followed me to this whole journey of throughout this year because I've been vlogging mostly this year. I think it started, you know, more, more so this year than when I first started vlogging back last November. But, you know, I want to thank all of you who have supported me and watched my videos and commented and, and all the things that you guys do. I think you guys are just my heroes for watching my videos and putting up with me. And I cannot begin to thank all of you guys. And I think for my New Year's resolution this year is to continue on this path of figuring out who I am. And I think also... I want to become a better person, whatever that means. I want to be a better person this year. And I want to work on me. Also, I want to work on not caring what other people think about me. I think I get so preoccupied with what other people are thinking that I just stop myself from doing things that I want to do and things that I like to do. So I'm going to work on that. What about you, mister? My resolution for 2012 is... I'm gonna be better with money, mm -hmm. for one. I'm already starting off the new year with like $200 in my possession, which is approximately $190 more than I usually have <laughs> at the end of the week. <laughs> so I'm already we're doing good. Um, I want to get A's in all my classes this semester. Mm -hmm. I want to, and next semester, mm -hmm. this year, I just wanna get A's in all my classes. I want to, I want to be better with my money so I can, like, buy the things that I want to have mm -hmm. and not be doing it at the risk of debt. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, not buying things with money that needs to go other places. I want to be better with my money so I can save it. So, like, I can buy myself the extra high Converse boots that I want because I think they're freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. And to that end, I want to be able to buy something like that and just wear them because I think that's cool. And... I go through phases where like I can be like, yeah, this is what I do because it's what I do and I'm not judged by you and I, even if you are judging me, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So I want to get back to that headspace because I think I've kind of gone back into a little bit of a, the people are looking at me and they're judging me and I can't wear this because they'll think I'm a stupid hoe. <laughs> oh God, what will the people that I don't know think? <laughs> they'll judge me! <laughs> Oh, the judgment. Oh, the judgment. And I want to keep growing with you mm -hmm. in this crazy thing we have. <laughs> crazy indeed. And um, I want to vlog more. I want to read more this year. I want to read a lot more books this year. I want to read books too. I miss books. I'm going to read books this year. And I'm going to actually go like spend money on books in stores in, so that bookstores don't keep dying because I'm still mourning the loss of borders. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go buy a book. Then you can walk around with a book and be like, Oh, isn't this amazing? Well, thank you for watching this video and spending this time with us. I hope you all have a very happy new year. And for my question for today, what is your new year's resolution? Like your super cheesy, like new year's resolution. Like the cheesiest New Year's resolution. Or if you want to like do your deepest one, you can do that too. Tell me your deep dark secrets. Put that below. Tell everyone your deep dark secrets. Everybody, tell of you too. I won't tell anybody. So there's something that I totally forgot to do. 
and I want to include this in all my videos now. I want to leave my videos on positive notes. What was your favorite part of today? Least favorite thing. Oh, um, my favorite part of today is in the Disney store when we were buying my dogs. Mm -hmm. Um, the very straight Disney store employee kind of shuffles up and is like, you guys want something for something special? And my brain just froze in blue screen of death and all I did was go, NOPE! <laughs> I just kind of went <laughs> all awkward and scared. And he just like walked away. And he just shuffled away because he didn't know what to do. And then after a few minutes, he very gay, he's an employee, <laughs> who was awesome, so awesome. He comes up, is like, are you guys finding everything okay? <laughs> and then he's like, you guys know we have some meals, we got to try somewhere we have the very godmother. <laughs> And I he was, was so excited. He was so excited. And I was like, and, and uh, they just released Charlotte too. He's like, I know you have her already, don't you? I was like, I do, I do. And we had a moment. What was your favorite part of the day? Um, my favorite part of the day was the awesome brownies that they made. They were <laughs> freaking awesome. My favorite part of the day today was... My favorite part of the day were brownies that I made that were amazing. They were amazing. Be swift as the coursing river With all the force of a great typhoon With all the strength of a raging fire Mysterious as the dark side of the moon